All right, people. Welcome to Shredcast every Thursday, 5 o'clock p.m. Pacific time here on Shredcast.com. We have a treat. Not for me. Okay, I already ate. We have a treat for you. <laughs> you definitely Rob. did. Think of you. Rob Brink is here. Rob Brink is here, okay? Hi. Right. The man needs no introduction. He, uh, introduction, <laughs> introduction. He, uh, Everyone created Weekend Buzz amongst a million other things. And not only that, but he can do switch inward heels in 1993. So, <laughs> by the way, guys, I'm Black Ninja, also known as Steve, from the YouTube channel, Ninja Lifestyle. And, uh, everybody. I'm Andy Schrock from YouTube.com slash Andrew Schrock. Basket. I'm Basket from uh, YouTube.com, Basket, and uh, it's 10 a.m. here in Australia. I'm Josh, and it's 8 o'clock here. Because we're at, in the East Coast at night. It looks like it's 10 a.m. By the way, Basquith. <laughs> right now, like, and, uh, Friday. Yeah. Go yeah. Doug. Tomorrow. Doug, go for it. All right, I'm Doug. I'm from the YouTube channel, uh, YouTube.com, Amphitheater. And Rob, how can everybody here. reach you via Instagram slash YouTube slash however you like to be reached? Me? Yeah. I guess you can. Uh, yeah. Um, all my handles for everything are just Robert Brink, so wherever you go, Twitter, Facebook. You know, I was just looking you up, and I typed in Rob Brink, and that's why I couldn't find you. Yeah, right. I'm officially following Robert Brink. You know, that's like, you were, like you were on the whole thing early. There he is. The there he is. No underscores, no numbers. Like, that's pretty legit. Yeah. It's <laughs> part of, like, doing social media for a living, I think. I'm just used to, like, getting all that stuff as quick as I can, especially even for the brands, like America or Altamont or whatever. Yeah, that's something you got to stay on. Like, so here, that's a good question. Not to jump in on something random before we get into topics. Go ahead but, and jump in. But do you, if, if this, is like, say Vine comes up, do you, every social media that comes up, do you go and just register it right away in case it gets big? Yeah, yeah, like I have... I have vines for all the brands. I have backspaces. Uh, yeah. Instagram, fucking vid like shit. You never even know yeah. what you can use. Social media, all of it. That's awesome. All right. Now everyone's going to go like, get it before me. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. You. They're going to jump. Yeah. Everyone's by the American name from people. <laughs> You've had to? No. Have you ever had to do that? anything like that, though? Because Andy has. Um, oh, yeah. we've had, there's been times like like I think on Tumblr I don't it's I don't have America or like on Pinterest I don't have Ultima like there's times I can't get it and at that point I wait to see if it blows if it's, up if it's worth it or not if we need it yeah a lot of times you can like you could contact a kid and be cool and try to hook him up like with some shoes or whatever and if not then you can go the route of like contacting the the companies directly like hey this is yeah, our yeah. brand we need this account and it's probably in their best interest to do that. You can contact me, and I can hook him up with a knuckle sandwich. Buffet style, <laughs> all you can eat. Yeah. I don't know. If this is, is this exciting to anybody? Of course Social it is. Social media. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I was interested about it. I actually just lost. I had to re, I have to relaunch my company because I didn't check the trademark before. I, I didn't know what I was doing before I started my company. And then when I went to trademark it, boom, I couldn't do it. So I have to relaunch my company with a new name. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds catastrophic. You, you live, you learn. But being uh, being on YouTube, it's like I, I'm in the best situation to relaunch a company because I talk directly to my dudes, you know. So. My hey, dudes. so Rob, uh, yes. I have this theory that feed. Uh, I'm sure you know about it. Is like, did they pay off the skaters to go on a feed? Because no one else was on it except <laughs> all of the pro skaters who conveniently had sessions at the feed mini ramp. What's up with that? I'm Illuminati. Kidding. Don't bring yeah, it up. <laughs> This is Josh's feed conspiracy. The only thing I can say, like, my theory is this. Well, it was a, a perfect opportunity when the Instagram announced their new privacy policy and, like, everybody freaked out for 36 hours. Yeah. So, but was, do, you guys, do you guys remember Rene Rene? Yes. He was sort of like a DC shoes personality at some point. Where's the the name pants, sounds familiar. He did a late, he did a late did you guys mention it? In uh, Flip Sorry. And Alex I think he was somehow affiliated with them, like worked for them or helped them out. Yeah, he's he there a little bit. He contacted me to verify me or whatever, and, and like I think he helped out and got the skate community on board. Yeah. But I don't really know. That's just like what it's looked like to me. I don't have any like insider feed information other than that they had a ramp on their property and a lot of skaters went hung out there and stuff. 
Yeah. What the fuck? I that was a good. On my property. Why don't they come hang out here? You're not paying. Your up. ramp is garbage. <laughs> Where do you live? You skated. I mean, you skated good, Steve. I live uh, in Las Vegas, Nevada, Sin City, home of the brave. Oh. Uh, you ever eat at Nobu? What's up? You ever eat at Nobu or Mesa Grill? No. Those are my two favorite restaurants. Well, they're, they're clearly Mexican, Mexican, and I am clearly down with them. <laughs> Nobu is sushi. Nobu. Oh. oh, well, the other one was. Uh, well, Mesa Grill is Bobby Flay's uh, southwestern style spot. Like Tex-Mex. Um. At, you, yeah, I'd say a slightly more upscale. <laughs> oh, okay. He's one well, of the iron chefs. He's one of the iron chefs on Food Network. But, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that is definitely. Yeah, I'm more of an engagement. epic mealtime kind of, kind of connoisseur. Oh, you like bacon wrapped in bacon wrapped in bacon? <laughs> you know oh, my what? God, I can send you videos of bacon wrapped in bacon. Oh man, Pfft, shit. Is anyone, yeah, but... is anyone sick of the bacon craze yet? The bacon humor? Because I am. Uh, I feel like. Yeah, that's that's. I feel like that's fading out. I feel like the mustache phase is getting annoying at this point. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what just, about. Are you taking a shot at a pro skate? No, no, I'm not talking. No, not Richie. But no, I'm saying like the shirts with mustaches, like just like or like three mustaches just on the shirt. That's it's cool. like that's like the stupidest thing. Is am I the only person that thinks that's stupid? Oh, Have you seen stupid. the people that get yeah. tattoos of a mustache on like their finger like this, and then they hold it up yeah. to their no their mouth or whatever? <laughs> Dude, like, all what the girls at school mustache iPhone cases. Terrible. Terrible. So dumb. Have you seen the people who put a mustache on the front of their car? Like it's an adhesive. Like, <laughs> uh, I believe it's called a car. I've seen car. pictures of that. How That's... can I one up this? Uh, car stash. Know, pop, guys, in case you're interested. Have you what seen the chicks that shave their pubes in a mustache? <laughs> 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 Have you seen that? So I, has I anyone had a recent, recent session? Oh, recent oh, sessions. Oh yeah, recent, recent sessions. sessions. Sorry. Right. One time. I'll go first. Um, no one's somebody else wants you go, to. You go first, Steve. My or whoever session. just said. Fuck them. My oh. recent session was like uh, an hour ago. I rode a skateboard off a roof into a pool. That's all I did. I saw. That, I saw that picture, dude. <laughs> so, fun. so fun. I couldn't tell it was a roof. So did you land it? Uh, I mean, I landed. How do you not land it? You take it to the ground of the bottom of the pool and you stand on the board. And shoot it. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I guess I didn't land it. No, it, it uh, it was cool. I think in the future that board might snap because you need to try to three flip into it or something, man. It's it's okay. Here's worst case scenario of of, yeah. of jumping a, off a roof into a pool with a skateboard. If the skateboard lands in between my legs. It's probably going to be worse than sacking a rail. You are de-weenered. That's what that's called. Yeah, so that's what I'm scared of. So I didn't even ollie. I just rolled off. Because if I... Oh, okay. Can you imagine uh, if I couldn't have children or even if I just hurt my nuts and someone asked me what happened, I'd have to say, well, I was. I had the uh, intelligent idea to fucking try to kick flip <laughs> and I caught the board. That, that is how the best story starts, Steve. No, no, no. Well, no. I had a skateboard and a pool and a roof and that's no, just let their imagination take it away. I need to have a ride in of my own. Yeah. Okay. All right, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it, that makes me think of when Bam ollied the three meters into the pool. Like, oh, I always thought that Bam. was nuts that he Jesus stuck that. Jesus Christ. Me, well, yeah, see, when, when do I talk about Bam? <laughs> <laughs> but that's crazy, you gotta admit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I admit. Alright. Well, since I'm blabbing away, I'll talk about my recent sessions. I've been filming to death. Like, I just I go to the skate park, and I have to film a video, or I film something somebody else. So all my sessions have been kind of basic. But uh, the other day, I actually started on a box, and I was like, I'm going to start with 50-50s and do front side and back side, like, every trick and work my way up. And I got, like, 30 tricks in, and I was like, I'm going home. Did you make a video and, like, put, like, check a little thing off the list? like check No, I should. That'd be fun to do that, though. Get like a really I feel like stupid no one would actually like watching it. And every time what? you land a trick, have somebody bite a taco or whatever. Genius. Or break stuff. Yeah, like it just you're throwing food at someone's face or something, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know. My least favorite thing on YouTube is the people that do the same tricks in every single video. Like, it's, none of you guys are guilty of it, so you're straight. But I, there I'm are definitely people. I don't people. give a fuck. I'm a little guilty of it. I'm going to stop doing it just to I'm annoy you. I'm start to, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but keep, keep going. Apparently, I did too many hard flips. I could watch you do hard flips all day. You guys are doing okay. You guys are fun. Hey, so anyway, I haven't skated since last weekend, but I'm about to skate today. I got work off, it's which about is to good. Skate that booty. Well, yeah, I got to pick up my girlfriend first, but then I'm not skating. Hell yeah! And she doesn't have a choice. She's coming with us. Wait, you're in your hometown, right? What is it? Yeah, I'm in Melbourne, but uh, she's flying she's down from in Sydney. Sydney. Okay. 
Damn, you guys are getting serious, bro. I'm scared. Yeah, well, it's my birthday tomorrow, so we're gonna Oh, shit! It's actually two days away for us. Happy actually, birthday to you. That's not how they sing it. It's going to sound like... Happy birthday to you, mate. Happy hey, birthday <laughs> to you, mate. I would, hey, yeah. <laughs> I would contribute to that, but we would just sound like drunken English guys trying to sound Australian. It wouldn't work. I don't know how to do that accent. Apparently I don't. I watched River Monsters last night, and I was good at that accent for like... While I was drunk, and then I lost it now. Well, if you're alone, dude, if there's no one to see you, you're, you can nail the accent. You think that's amazing when you try and do an accent The weather was not on his yeah. side. Right? <laughs> like, I thought I was good at American ones, and then you guys shut me down last time I tried that. All you said it's was just... y'all, I think. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we say, y'all. That's all we do. <laughs> that's, that's Rob, man, what is an American accent? We just say y'all? Yeah. Okay. It's not even so, a word. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right. There are so many lots of people. I'd say... I, uh, I would, stop cutting each other off. No, we're not cutting each other off. Uh, Rob's mic's fading in and out. because Yeah, he's, you kind of sound like an aluminum robot. Sometimes. In the worst of ways. What does that mean? Oh, he's frozen. You could be like a good aluminum robot, like a really cool looking one that's like, you get like the dancing benefits, you know? Oh, we lost him. Oh, he, we, he's back. Oh, wait. Two robs. Uh, mm -hmm. That's like twice as many robs as I was hoping for today. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, you're, one of them's gone. I tell you who can do accents, though, is Richie Jackson, your, your, your favorite person, Steve. Why is my, my favorite person? You need to talk to the man with the, first of all, you love him, okay? We all know you love him. And Rob... <laughs> Allowed him just, to kiss him nice without, without beating his ass. And on top of that, <laughs> you I've heard you say on multiple occasions you love his attire. I don't I do not care about what he's wearing. Because hey, you want, there he is, he's back. You want him to take it off. I know you, Andy. You don't care <laughs> about right. what he's wearing as long as it comes off. Regardless, he is he, dude, he can do every like agree, single regardless. accent. Regardless of whatever you're talking about. He can do every single accent ever. It's very entertaining. Welcome back, Rob. Welcome back, Rob. <laughs> Is he here? Oh, he might, his or mic what? might be. Uh, Josh, muted. you blocked. You blocked Robert for some reason. My screen says Josh. I, I I'm blocked. Him. Him. No, I don't want to. Is he block still him. blocked? You blocked him. Robert, I, I thought I unblocked. I unblocked one of them. All right, how can we get him back? Robert, your mic might be muted. He's always going to double check it. Sometimes it automatically mutes you. No, he just muted it. It was unmuted. Oh my bad. Speak, Robert. Hey, we, still, we, we still do recent sessions or yeah, yeah, no, what's up? Oh, you, your mic and Rob's are fucked up. <laughs> he said something about sessions, so yeah. Keep Doug and Josh do recent I, sessions or whoever is up. I don't know. Yeah, Doug, you got it. I go like, well, sure. my recent session was it's on my channel for the Sunday Fun Day, and I just skated a rail, and had some fun, messed around with it, pretty much. Is that I don't know. I don't know if I saw your recent f Sunday fun day. Yeah, I saw I the back did. tail in front of you. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you destroyed that rail, right? I commented on it. Oh, shit. Well, it was a big shit. I was hurt, so I was messing around. Just messing around with front feebles down park rails? Just yeah. joking. Hey, is Rob frozen? Yeah, he looks like he's, he's frozen. Yeah, I'm going to text him right now. Oh, so anyway, my recent session... Um, I think Josh is up now. I, I didn't even get any clips this week. I mean, I skated a couple times, but I spent most of the week just like any filming, and I think I've become I've become the film bitch lately. Like, people think... Well, you do on a YouTube channel. Oh, uh, dude, no, but usually, yeah. like, my friends, they, they film me a bit, and I film them. them but, like, dude, I, I've been filming tricks for, like, hours recently, and it's the worst, because I don't love filming. I mean, it's it's okay, and I like it when it's for the channel, but, like, I don't want to be, like... Nigel Alexander, you know? Like, I want to skate. Dude, Nigel actually gets to skate more than we do, I bet you. That's true. He's, he's just so He just does it all at once. He gets all the footage, but when he's skating, man, he skates. Like, when I was with him, he skated for like four hours, and he didn't pick up a camera at all. Josh, you gotta That's unblock him. Why? For some reason, you blocked Robert. Alright, let me find him. I gotta figure out how to... Josh. Oh yeah, so anyway... What's what's up with you guys? Like having your own YouTube channels? Do you ever feel like uh, you become the main filmer and no, no? Not at all. We actually 
recently, Brian Ames and Justin Ellison have been filming a lot for us, which I am completely thankful if you guys are watching this. Thank you. Brian Ames. But, uh, Brian I Ames. film yeah, Brian Ames. Brian Ames. Uh, but honestly, I, I feel like I, the only reason I'm filming more is because I'm doing a video every day now. But no, I don't. I'm not. You know, I don't feel like I have to film more just because I have the channel. Well, my recent video, I do not skate at all. I was the filmer. And are your friends down to film you best with? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them are. They, they don't like it, though. No one likes filming. I like filming. Am I the only one that has, like, a I'll, favorite I'll like person it. to skate with because they never fuck it up? I Except don't, one of my friends. We don't have a legit friends, filmer. I, when we went out to the city last time, I bought him a whole heap of drinks, and so now each drink that I bought him is each clip that he needs to film for me, so it works out well. Heck yeah. You need to come to Las Vegas, man, just buy 100 drinks. Is he a decent filmer? Yeah, he's all right. Who am I trying to text right now? All right, I've been I don't know if he's... Mm. Did you find out how to unblock him? Because he said it won't let him back in since he blocked him. Uh, Maybe we should... Josh, you should leave. <laughs> and then... uh. <laughs> After Rob joins back up, you can. Oh yeah, maybe. Uh, I had a couple Ooh, topics. Uh, if you guys want to talk about them now or later, well, probably now, I guess, huh? Since well, how, what are we? How are we dealing with the Robs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just text me. You said new invite didn't work. All right, hold on one second. You gotta find your block list and unblock him. Why'd you block yeah. him in the first place, man? Oh, I was getting rid of the second one. It didn't work though. Because there away. are two Robs. you got to get rid of one Rob. It goes away after a little while. How does that bother you with two little Robs on the screen? Not like they were both making noise. Everyone go to Josh's videos and tell him that he ruins Shredcast. Also, <laughs> exactly. thumbs down everything on everything I make for the rest of my life, please. Please. Yeah, have you and, noticed uh, you can't tell uh, how many dislikes there are? If you, you can't tell how many, things, how many times a thing's been disliked on YouTube? I thought you can. You can't. You can't yeah. your own. But look at someone else's video. It always has. It go onto the actual video page, and it says zero dislikes for me at all times. Because people like your shit. Yeah. No, I like I, like <laughs> on my my videos, and it says zero dislikes, or it says I'll have like ten dislikes. Oh, never mind. I just went on a right channel video, and it said it has two dislikes. Sorry. Oh. Maybe maybe it's just a glitch. Maybe I am crazy, but yeah. All right, it's coming up now. I'm it. YouTube just want to make me look stupid. Yeah, you're a little crazy. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Hey, hey, Josh, you fixed it? I'm working on it. I feel awful right now. You absolutely should. I should. I'm, I'd yeah. really feel awful to me if I did that. <laughs> Special guest kicked off. Yep. yep. You kicked off wrong for a right. dude. <laughs> and my, my chances of getting on Altamont have just like gone really downhill. Are you on block? Does he have a lot to do with Altamont? Uh, I didn't no. even know he had to do with Altamont in America. Well, I wanted to talk about who decides what tricks look good, and my example was whoever first did a dangle foot 360 flip probably was made fun of, but then now it's like super cool, and obviously Andy's best friend, Richie Jackson, uh, wears lampshades for pants and uh, little jingling bells and has fucking homo mustaches. <laughs> I love mustaches. him. I just love his pants. Men, and somehow he's I love he's his cool. pants. So I'm gonna get him Josh. on this show, dude. I'm gonna get a clip of him like just t trash talking you. <laughs> okay. So, hey, can someone else invite him? What? If Josh is trying to invite him, can anyone else invite I him? I tried. I'm not friends with him on Google Plus. So I should probably go him. change that. I tried, but Josh blocked him. Why did Josh screw up Shredcast? Why did he ruin it for us? Oh, hold on. I almost got this. What, are you hot wiring it? Are you hot wiring Shredcast? He's texting me. He's pissed. Yep. Tell him to, to, tell him to put me on the America just so he can kick me off. Uh, Jack, fucking up. Maybe we should just start a skateboard company called Shredcast. <laughs> Dude, he's uh. not blocked for some reason on mine. He's not blocked. Hey, can we restart it real quick? No, we're live. No. What are you, we're doing Shredcast. Hey guys, let's restart the entire show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, that's the end of the show. Alright, I'm going to send an invite. Yeah, send them invites. Blow them up with invites. Maybe, uh... 
I put a new board together, uh, Shredcast. I'm, I, I, we might as well keep talking while all this is happening. You guys and, see on the uh, right side of the screen it says Josh Katz blocked Robert Brink? Yeah, it does. Yep, it says, says that. that. Does it really? Yeah. yeah. That's embarrassing. It says Robert <laughs> you know Brink joined the chat. Josh Cat blocked <laughs> Robert Brink. Oh, all right. That's you know, it would be awesome if this was like <laughs> Tony Hawk. We got Tony Hawk Look, on the on This Shred is Cast. what he said. He said, "You guys want it? You guys start talking about Richie and me kissing, then block me." <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear this was not planned. That is what happened, didn't it? He was like, "Wait, what?" And Damn, he couldn't Josh. even say anything about got it. Got a little nervous about talking about men kissing and just went straight to the block button. Dude, he's oh. unblocked. I just invited him. Weekend blocked. He just Ruined renamed the show cow. Weekend Blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Josh. <laughs> everyone in the chat Sorry, and everyone on the YouTube was, page. If you're uh, watching this Josh on YouTube, make fun of him. Right now, Josh's fault. Oh, this is awful. Oh. Josh is killing the game. But, uh... If anyone cares, if anyone out there is just sick of us talking about, and he set up a new board. I set up a new skateboard, and uh, did you block it? Right no, after I you did. set it up, did I wanted you set to be able to skate and block it. I was doing magical heel flips on it. It felt really good, and uh, and magical. then I couldn't land a fifty-fifty key flip out. It was driving me crazy, but I did. Well then, yeah. Um. Dude, what's your least? What's hey, when you guys put a board together? What's the one thing that prevents you from skating normal? You know, like if you get new shoes, sometimes it's hard to skate. Like it takes a day or two to get worked into them, or trucks. What's your what's your guys' least Josh favorite new thing to ride? <laughs> trucks, I think. Trucks. I can't Mine's smith grind. New trucks. I can't smith grind. Period. Ah, no, I can't. Right? It just it just takes me some uh, effort, but uh. I don't know. I feel like bushings, dude. It's really hard to find good That's bushings what I mean, that yeah. feel comfortable right away. Like right now, I've got some new indie ones. I don't know where my. I... I got a whole new setup ready to make a new setup video, but I bought I bought some indie bushings for my thieve trucks. Oh, okay. You know what? Thieve trucks. I hit them up like when I had like five thousand subscribers, and I was like, "Hey, my YouTube channel has five thousand subscribers, and I'm gonna get more." <laughs> And uh, I was like, "Could I ride your stuff?" And I'll and I'll tell people about it. And he was like, uh, "Your videos are interesting, to say the least." The rep from Thieves of this. He's Hi. back. He's back. Thanks. Hey. Look. What up? Josh fucked up. That's why we kicked him out. Josh, <laughs> Josh fired him the Oh, there you go. Now we can talk forever. This is a different background. <laughs> He's pissed, so his background turned into fire and red. I took away the. <laughs> I feel like. The sun was shining in. The sun was shining in super gnarly to the uh, to the showroom, so I had to flip it. Yeah, okay. you look better. You just flipped the whole room around. So last I heard, you guys brought up Richie Jackson and then blocked me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was. <laughs> he said weekend blocked. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. Explain. Andy, Andy asked if that was scripted. I did not ask anything of it. The only thing I said was that he is amazing at accents, and he's very entertaining. He can do every single accent. Wait, who asked if and it was scripted? Earlier in the pre-show, somebody asked if it was scripted. I didn't Josh. ask it. Fuck you. Josh. Maybe Josh. Josh did. Well, that's why we I mean, Josh, him. Josh ruins everything. <laughs> so, so, no, so explain I, how that went down, and, and uh, did, did, was, there, was there any thought of just, what the fuck? I should just punch this guy right in the mouth. My mouth, I guess. No, nah, no way. Um... You would have been thinking this is a good idea. Everything you saw was exactly all that I knew. I, I'm sure Richie planned it in advance, maybe, but I was like completely shocked. That's why I was like, "Dude, I'll do it, but don't like try to fucking tongue kiss me or anything." Like, yeah, yeah. Everything you saw was like my exact reaction, and and I always say like, so many people come on the show and they give up so many good stories and embarrass themselves for the good of the show. That I felt like I kind of owed that to people to not back down from that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a good like, way to look at it. Well, because I rely on everybody embarrassing themselves and putting themselves out there to make a good show. So I can't that's... puss out. Well, if that's you said no, then there'd be so many people not talking about that right now. Well, it probably wouldn't have made it. Do you guys ever go back and edit the show? The show isn't live yet. Yeah, it's edited. Yeah. 
So they wouldn't have put like the super awkward thing where like it like cuts, you know, it wouldn't have been like that, but I feel like it was smart just because like it drew so much attention to the show. Like when that apology video came up and I was like, I didn't even know people were making a big deal about the, the weekend buzz with Richie in it and I was like, Oh dude, this is no. it's yeah, publicity. Exactly. It's like that any publicity is good publicity idea, you know? Well, yeah, and I had to go home to my girlfriend that night and be like, hey, uh, I kissed the dude, and it's coming out on the internet on Friday. Sorry. So be Sorry! <laughs> Honestly, just be glad you're not Johnny Layton, and then everything seems good. Hey, well, who the video. fuck invited you to talk? Yeah. But I don't even think that's that bad. It's just what like, happened? All right, am I an idiot? What happened with Johnny Layton? Oh, my God. Yes. You have a Is this? Yeah, I don't even know. You have a what? skateboard on the internet, and you don't know what happened with Johnny Lee. Oh, no, 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 no. I, yeah, okay. That's that's worse. I remember that. That was a while ago, though, wasn't it? I'm not afraid yeah, to say I don't, I don't know what it was. Andy Andy just went pretended he knew. No, I definitely yeah, did. Oh, oh, yeah, he, that thing. Yeah, what about He had a wiener him? shot, didn't he? Pulled out his dick? Something like that. Oh, the chat says baby yeah. dick. You know, I think you guys should be offended. Or, Rob, you should be offended, because they're admitting right now they don't watch Weekend Buzz. And... Who? If you had uh, to watch Weekend Buzz, you'd be well informed. Wait, who blocked to... his ass? I can't expect <laughs> anyone to watch it. I mean, I Josh, can you stop ruining his day? Honestly, with all the stuff on Ride Channel that comes out, I, the things I make sure I watch are Shredded Card, Weekend Buzz, and uh, Skateline. Hey, little man. Ride Dog. In the building. Just yeah. time to talk about gay stuff. We have a, you bring a baby on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show and when you do not kiss guys, this is what you get. Yeah. What a little alien. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I I had a question from the the tube from the YouTube. So no, it was not scripted. For okay. one last yeah. time, I will. Hey, are there any like moments from Weekend Buzz that we didn't get on the show that you'd be happy like? Telling us. Oh my god, there's so many. Like, I have meltdowns. There's so many times I have meltdowns because they're like, we can't put that on, or so many oh. times Erica doesn't feel comfortable with that, or one of the writers called us up and asked us not to do it, or whatever. That's annoying. Damn, what, I wonder uh, I what I feel they like are. with that type of show, they sh it should be like, hey, this is like no, I've skateboarding it. media, you know? Like, you do it in front of the camera, but. I'll say this, like, I'm not going to just point fingers. There's been a couple moments where I'm like, hey, like, if I if I said that and that gets on the air, that could jeopardize, like, my job or whatever. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. But um, I'm trying to think of one that's so long gone that it wouldn't matter if I told it now. I don't think... I'll, get, I'll get back to that question. I just have okay. to answer. Okay, well, this was a question from the chat asked by Jack Stokes. He asked, Brink, what happens after the weekend buzz is done? Do you just let people drive off in the state they're left in? Parentheses, need, dunk them. Or do they chill in the studio? Um, everyone that we saw get really shit-faced, like me and, uh, me and Ryan Ray's. Usually people come with a driver. Like a team manager comes, or like a homie or a filmer. And, um, because I got two DUIs. I'm not trying to, like, let people get drunk and drive and, like, destroy their lives, you know? Or oh, die. Oh, shit, that'd be awful. They all they'd have to do is check out the most recent video and be like, "What happened?" <laughs> and I I have to like even myself. It's like I sort of limit it to like two beers tops when I'm taping, just because I like I can't fuck around myself. You know what I mean? I have to be careful. So damn. Once I work my way so, up the ladder, I'm gonna be on there fucked up. What's your What's your policy with like underage drinking? Like, will Ride Channel just like slaughter you if like Trevor Colton takes a sip of alcohol? Or like, what happens? Um, I don't even know that there was have been underage guys on there drinking. I'm not sure. Like maybe, I know there's been like plastic cups. I know there's been <laughs> dudes on using plastic cups and not drinking alcohol. Like Jaws and Ben Rayborn didn't drink. Lizard King didn't drink because he was sober. I don't know if he still is. I think um, he is. Trevor didn't drink. You know, so Trevor didn't drink at the time. I don't think. Um, I don't know if he does now. There's been a lot of guys that didn't drink. Uh, I mean, I don't really pay attention to who's drinking and who's not. It just seems like it's kind of flowing around freely, so, like, I don't know. Damn, yeah. Mom! I think there's people, too, they are yeah. careful to, like, um, carry themselves in a certain way because they're on camera and they're trying to represent their sponsors and do the right yeah. thing, you know? They don't want to totally pile out, and I, like, I can really, like, admire that. We just take one of the 
this and um, Jesus Christ that's coming out not this Friday but next Friday and it's really fucking good but they drank like strawberry soda and Mountain Dew hey <laughs> on a side note did you guys know that Jesus Christ is like good at skating yeah he's I sick. saw some footage of him recently and I was like wow he's so good really dude, I, I didn't know that where do you see footage how do I see this I need to see this it's, it's hidden I dude it's hidden dude I think it's always funny that everyone's so surprised when someone's good at skating if they're not like a pro skater, like not known for skating. People, people always say to me like, "Oh, I didn't know you skated," and it's like, "How would I have gotten it to where I am if I didn't skate?" Like, that's crazy. That's true. Well, that's, I, I feel like this industry is known for that. Like, if you're involved in the industry, nine times out of ten, you're a skateboarder or or grew up a skateboarder or something. Right. Yeah. Well, does Eric escape? Where can I find uh, her Eric, video? Chicken what? Chicken what? What was that? Eric can kickflip. Heck yeah. yeah. Oh, God. That's I'm, it. I'm in love. <laughs> I need footage. Yeah, picture. I saw her almost kickflip her first try and completely wasted one time. Like, in, <laughs> in crazy like, boots with heels. That's what Ride Channel should do. They should get all the personalities and just Get wasted and all skate. Wallenberg in bikinis. <laughs> skate Wallenberg, yeah. <laughs> Even though that's in North California. Oh, man. How, hey, can I sit in on a weekend buzz? Is, is there like a little group of people behind the cameras just sitting watching, giggling? Um, sometimes. You're going to see the most um, the most epic example of that this Friday. Uh, Clint Walker brought all his Oklahomies to the show. I saw the got, picture. Oklahomies? I like that. that Got crazy. That was the that, that was the craziest it's ever gotten, and you're gonna see it tomorrow. Heck yeah! Ooh. I haven't seen the edit of it yet, but it's pretty. Crazy. Um, where do you guys film that at Soltech? No, uh, Ride Channel, Tony Hawk's headquarters. He has a as a what you call it? Not a uh, so that's where, where studio he's ramp it. He does yeah. his Sirius XM show out of there. He has his Tony Hawk Foundation, his charity is there. Okay, his whole operation is out of there, and it's in Vista. Yeah, Tony Hawk needs to hit me up. Full text my day job. Yeah, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. You got your day job, and then your your hobbies end up being something really productive. Yeah. Yeah, probably, wow. Probably too productive sometimes. I work a lot. Here, here's a question. There, was, uh, there were rumors of S just being on hiatus, you know? Is that is that wishful thinking? Um, I'm not sure. I know there was never the intention to, like, give up on it totally. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. My um, buddy just started writing for it. Like he's Daniel Dubois. He's on Foundation, on Metro right. Skate Shop. He came. Well, he went, he did something with you guys where uh, he had the suit on and he was skating a ten stair at the S uh, skate like a uh, training facility. Oh, okay. Like landing on the uh, the pad that like reads your weight distribution and it was recreating it on the oh, computer. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, the STI lab. He yeah. Was doing some testing and all that. Yeah, and they did a video with him there, and I was like, dude, this is awesome. He's working with S, and then, like, the next week after he got on and he did that, it was like the news came out. I was so bummed. I think there's always – it's always going to be – if the opportunity presents itself, I think S will be back. I, yeah. I don't I have feel to – I know that nobody wanted it to be gone, and nobody wants it to be gone forever. Nobody here, you know, so. And I, and I feel like, like – that... They got what? I said, "There's still hope, Doug." Oh yeah, Doug is 23s for life, right? No, excels. <laughs> oh, excels, excels. Um, but I feel like that that's it gives a lot of possibility for when, if they ever bring it back and relaunch it, like it'll be a huge event and it'll like it'll push the company forward so much, like one big, you know, startup. Yeah, because I'm not trying to be part of the Osiris yeah, game of skates. I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> part of the S game of skates. Dude, I, I tell you what, I feel like real skate shoe companies are just like fading away and dying, man. Let's make one. They're They're fuck it. They're all leaving. I don't want America to die, so I'm supporting that till I I don't think America's not going anywhere, man. And they said that about yeah. S. I wonder, like, if S said that about S. Better, like, I feel like there's so much support for S. If they made a Kickstarter, you'd be like, hey, donate a few dollars and we'll stay in business. They could have raised so much money. I would donate some lunch monies to that. Dude, yeah. absolutely. No. Yeah, I guess you have to assume, though, because I hear so many people, I've always heard people tell me how much they love S. And if all these people loved S, I'm not sure if, and if S were on all their feet the whole time, yeah. 
Yeah, why play. did it get to that point? Exactly. It, yeah. It, it just, I think they don't remind me anymore. They, they stop selling as much. I think people get nostalgic and they they miss things once they're gone, but they don't necessarily support it while it's around. You know. I'll yeah, give you that's... another example. Like, I'll, I'll, this was an example. Like, when Ronnie Krieger's contract with Etnies or whatever ended the second time, like a couple years back. You know, there was a lot of people on the slap forums or wherever, like, oh my god, that's fucked up, why'd you, you know what I mean? And it's like, how many of you dudes saying that are riding a Ronnie Krieger Pro product right now? Yeah, sure. Are you dudes riding a Ronnie board or a Ronnie Tensors or whatever? Like, that's part of the problem, is like, mm -hmm. I think people talk, but they don't, they don't support with their wallets, you know? Yeah, no, I know that all too well. BlackNinjaShirts.com <laughs> <laughs> Man, I promise you, I get a fucking billion people saying, I'll get one when the new design comes out, and then, like, opening weekend, it'll be, like, three orders. See? People like you are fucking ruining. Why are you the black ninja? You're, like, the whitest dude ever. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. No, I know. I don't know. I, I really wish I could change my name at this point. Well, but it's I'm too pretty late. white, too, so I can say that. Yeah, but you don't, you're not black brink, you know? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Black journalist. I don't know. I just <laughs> named it. Bring to it though, so I wouldn't. Even, I'd consider it. Yeah, there it is, people. That name just came up, man. I wish I could change it. I wish I could be something more clever. Who came oh. up with it? Was that your idea? Man, you know what? Speaking of S, the Black Ninja, the name Black Ninja came up at an S game escape. I didn't feel like uh, putting my name. I didn't just didn't feel like it. I had issues or something. You were too good for Steve. Yeah, and I just put Black Ninja and they announced it. Actually, my name, my real name was Black Ninja Death Star. So they were like, Black Ninja <laughs> Death Star to uh, lane number three. And, I was like, and all that hate on Star Wars, right? What the fuck does that have to do with it? <laughs> De oh, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the Death Star has to do with Star Wars. I certainly don't know what the fucking Death Star is, so excuse me if it happened to be some Wait. fucking homoerotic uh, movie that has to do with some Wait. Death Star shit. You don't know what the Death Star is? Like, even yeah, you've lived yeah. your whole life not even hearing what the Death Star is? Oh, 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 oh fuck me for not knowing what the Death Star is. I'm, I'm now <laughs> uncool for not knowing what the fucking Death no. Star is. Hey, tell me you're how. Just a little insecure. No, while you're, you're just while the you're only. Tell me how rare a Mewtwo is, too, or some other nerd ass fact that I should know about. A U Mewtwo? <laughs> Mewtwo, like the band? A Mewtwo. No, Mewtwo. And did you not play Pokemon when you were a kid? Yeah. You got any other nerd what? facts to, to fucking lay on me about the Death Star? Well, I don't. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Everyone agrees that you don't know. You don't that you not knowing what the Death Star is is weird. That's weird. That's no good. The sun could be a Death Star. It's a big ass. It, that could be one. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It's it's. I'm not hating, man. You're all right, Steve. Either. Okay, we're we're gonna get through this. We'll I'm battle it out. Like you just, we'll do. You tried to we'll make do nine hundred like to the death. Hiding a fucking Star Wars. Uh, you have a fucking farmer's fetish can? Or I'm a fucking <laughs> farmer's man. You totally got it. Actually, That's you know what? <laughs> Anything to get off this Death Star nerd shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Steve, he's on your side, man. Good, good. But um, he knows what the Death Star is. I might no add. No one knows what yeah. the Death Star is. Somewhere in the middle of your rant, you mentioned you regret your name and you wish you had something less dumb. You can't even talk about that with me in the room, like... Eminem. Uh, Eminem. Yeah, Eminem. <laughs> what the hell? Eminem. M <laughs> it's awful. Alright, continue. Whatever. You know what? You, that's right. No, 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 no one I calls you Eminem. They don't, like, come up to you at I'm a, sure at they a do at the park at all the time. Park or, or, or a video premiere, are, like, are hey, Eminem. Are you, are you, wait, are you kidding me? Are they they did, me I saw this. some dude do it to him at Love Park, like, two weeks ago. Answer me this then, okay? I'll, I'll I'll give you that much. Answer me this: Does anyone come up to you and explain to you that you're not Eminem? People usually can. Make they come up to you like you're not Eminem because they come up to me daily and say you're not Black or a Ninja. Why are you Black Ninja? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I, I get that on my uh, my YouTube channel every once in a while. Like, hey, the ra you're not the rapper. Like, what? I thought this was the rapper skateboarding. Nope. What? Sorry. That's how I I got every single one of my subscribers. They thought that I was Eminem. <laughs> Eminem posters behind you, dude. Yeah, yeah, I used to work for UFC, and I uh, trained for like cool. a year. It's pretty cool. Yeah, are you a hater or are you a, are you a fan of it? I'm just asking. Okay, we're gonna ask <laughs> he is you neutral. Saw the last week, but hey, that's fine. Partial? John Jones. I don't think they're watching this right now. Uh, I'm not in the the people in the chat. Answer me. How many people are watching live right now? <laughs> One forty-eight. One forty-eight. Well, hey, you know what'd be fun is to get a random stranger off the street and have them be our guest for Shredcast. Would you guys be down for that? Fuck I'd be no. down for that. It would have to be in LA, though. 
Or or Vegas. Who would be comfortable having them host and like come in their house and spend an hour with them? You. Oh. Not not me. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, hey, Rob. Sorry, uh, most of our views come. We post this. We'll post this on our channel, and we'll get thousands yeah. of views. Actual on YouTube, um, live. We one time had about eight hundred. Wasn't it, guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is pretty. I mean, even like Joe Rogan's podcast, he only gets like a thousand live viewers Sorry, when he Joe. does it, supposedly. <laughs> Oh, it's by the tough. way, I want to give a special shout out to Basquith because what a lot of you guys don't notice is uh, on on this day, this day of days, every single week, he only sleeps three hours just so he can do shred. Two last night. Two hours. Two. Two. So thought I'd and bring I, that I up. Said three times, but well, I, I hey, really it's go. you got to go right now. Go to the airport. Yeah, I had to go ten minutes ago, but you guys cut me off three times. So I, I that's when you go. say shut up <laughs> and then talk. We'll we'll shut up. Have you ever told Ninja to shut up? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'll do it. You you should. <laughs> I'll do it. Fuck it. I'm not All right. Well, uh, everybody in the chat, wish Bask with a happy birthday, and uh, Bask, you have a good and weekend. Everyone, check buddy. out YouTube.com/slash/baskwith. Happy birthday! I just posted. Have a nice birthday. birthday. And today, I guess. Let him talk, people. Maybe the next day too. What did you just say, Bask? Don't worry, I'm not repeating that. <laughs> that was very important. Shut up, Black Ninja. It there wasn't me that time. Well. That's been said. Okay. Uh, I'll see you later, guys. I gotta go. Thank you for coming, Robert. Yeah, thank you. Yep. All right, Bask. Have, Have a good day, man. Today. Have a good oh, weekend, buddy. He probably said like the password to his YouTube channel, and like everyone missed out on getting like instant twenty. Well, we play it back. Numbers. Yep. The password is Kit Hay sixty nine. You won't be. You won't be able to hear it. Because <laughs> a fucking ninja. <laughs> uh, he definitely talks way louder than you, so there's a high possibility. Because of this can't... fucking Death Star bullshit, don't blame me. What's the Death Star? <laughs> Dude, like Death Star's on the Simpsons, man. All right, whatever. I'm not going into it. Wait, is Death Star yeah, the, the, the Deathmatch thing on Thrasher? But yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. It was like I, I think it was in an episode of Thrash World. Isn't that where those ce celebrities with, with clay fight each other? <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That was pretty cool. All right. Goodbye. Celebrity deathmatch. Later, brother. Did did you did we? It's getting to ten. We've forty seven minutes into the show now. Did we have any more topics for uh, Rob? Like that were? Yes, Rob. You must have at least one weird story from Weekend Buzz. Oh my god! Weird. So let me let me think. Anyone ever thrown up sure. on the table? That'd be great. Um. Any any I, good travel stories? Oh, uh, here's one. Um. This is a good one. So when we did the Beagle Dustin Dolan episode, they got pretty hammered and um, took the Baker van or whatever back to L.A. And I don't know if it was Dolan or Beagle or both, but they puked in the van. <laughs> and then no one cleaned it up. And then the next day, I guess I heard that, like, they had to go on a tour. So, like, Andrew Reynolds got in the van and everything. Like, all the dudes got in the van, and they had to leave for this tour, and it was just, like, Dried puke stench, like overnight puke. Oh, situation. It makes me That's feel horrible. sick already. Ugh. Rob, how does it, 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 it feel? Though it's your fault. You made that happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know I who else made ever... something happen? You blocked his ass. Yeah. By the way, uh, you should uh, kick me out of the skin industry for that. Like, make sure. I feel like you have it. <laughs> he he has that power. To like I... make me just like. Skip. I will. Nope. Nope. No Josh Katz. I will ruin your career, boy. Boy. <laughs> I'll try to think of some other ones. There's got to be some weird ones miss, on there. What did I miss when, when you blocked me? Did I miss uh, my we, last... We just talked about why you were blocked, and we didn't understand why How Josh was so... Yeah, we just made fun of Josh immensely. And I rambled on about uh, my new setup in recent session. Has anyone ever been a really, really weird creeper to Erica? Because I feel like I would be. Um, <laughs> good motivation to get you on. <laughs> Had like, you need a guest? Yeah. yeah. No, I think like what you saw, like I think the extent of it was like when Neen got a little Talk crazy. Talk about booties, huh? Yeah, but no one's ever like creeped out on her because she's pretty much friends with everybody. So oh. it doesn't really get it's, that. It, it comes across that way as if like you guys are all kind of homies from the get-go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Erica's been out in California longer and sort of more in the mix even longer than I have. So, I mean, I know a lot of people or they might know who I am, but... She tends to be more like friends with everybody, and 
I'm more of like an acquaintance, or maybe I've interviewed him before for something, but not hung out with them as much. So a lot of times I meet people and become friends with them literally on the air, and then we stay in touch or see each other around, and like we become friends while we're taping the show, which is kind of cool. I feel like that's like happening right now, man. I think we're yeah, we're, we're just friends. bonding. Man. We're <laughs> all right, I've got a question. I will kiss uh, all of you when I see you. Yeah, <laughs> it's going down for sure. All right, this might be a little taboo, but like, does anyone not find Erica as attractive as everyone else talks about? Like, people drool over her, and like, sure, she's fine looking, but like, I'm not like, oh, Erica. You're not old enough, look- man. And second of all, watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm yeah. <laughs> I think, well, one. You're married. I don't, don't even say anything. I, well, yeah, that's my. I don't look. I don't honestly. I'm not in that mindset. So when I watch it, I'm watching it from an entertainment point of view. Like she is a good host, you know. Yeah, but I, I mean, feel yeah, like I'll tell you the younger is. audience. Do what? Well, here you go. It, Erica's really pretty. There's no doubt about it. The the thing is, there's no one else in skateboarding to look at. So she's the prettiest one, you know what, what I mean? Me? So of course, yeah. <laughs> those it? masculine Hello, girl people? skaters. <laughs> you know, well, that's absolutely true. Yeah, Most course, like she's the one. Well, yeah, I right. watched women's X Games the other day, and it looked like fucking four dudes. So I can understand where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't want these people to hate me, but I like dudes. All right, well, all right, Letitia <laughs> Buffoni. She's attractive. Who? Leticia. Is that a black chair? Winter? No. <laughs> no, no. Not too, Have you ever heard of golf chair? <clears throat> Has you ever talked to her? <laughs> who, who cleared their throat when he said that? He said, Has anyone jacked off to her? All I heard was. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I didn't hear. I, said, I thought you said talk to her. <laughs> well, he said she was pretty, so you... I was asking. I just got all weekend buzz on him and asked him if he's ever wanked off to her. You know, yeah, Josh, you're on the spot. All, you, all I heard was. Try <laughs> it. He, look, he's turning red. Look at him. You got him. You got him. Next right. week, <laughs> that's your homework. Josh is bold. That's your homework for this week, Josh. <laughs> His homework so is to jack off to a pro skateboarder. Is she pro? Uh, wait, I don't know. She skates X Games. I don't know what that means, though. You're gonna have to Wikipedia her. <laughs> and you'll find who out. Who would you rather jack off to? Who would you rather jack off to, Dylan Reader or Letitia Buffani? Oh, the girl. <laughs> yes, the girl, definitely. Wait. Really? You wouldn't yeah, know. Yeah, I'm You'd heterosexual. Have to be close enough to know. Dude, Dylan Ryder really is. He's like art in motion, I feel like. Did you see that video party put out? Like, Are you trying to it's say pretty... like, how good looking he is? He's like art in motion? <laughs> Dude, if you've that seen this part, you know what I'm talking about. He's like just. He seems kind of like I wonder. If hey, I can't, know. dude. I can't say anything wrong when it comes to sexuality. I have had my child on this show. So I'm good. Mm-hmm. Are you saying you've got it out of your uh, system? What are you trying to say? <laughs> I've, got a, I've, got a I've got the straight out of my system, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a clean slate right now that I can easily just kind of like ruin, so we should like do that, you know? Just put yeah. it all out there. Yeah. Eminem jacks off to pro skateboarders, man and woman alike. All capital. The easiest way. <laughs> Dude, speaking of which, next video... Uh, how to strap a helmet the easiest way? Stolen right from someone in the chat room. I think that's. An we need to get a- we need to get Aaron on here so he can confront all you guys. <laughs> but Aaron? Uh, Aaron? well, hey, we need to a- ask. We need to answer some questions and then and roll what, on. People Here's in the good. chat, one question each today. Because you guys ask some stupid ass questions, and then uh, Rob gets. A Are you? Uh, well, you guys want to do an Instagram photo? Doug oh just yeah, yeah awesome. Rob. By the way, every week we do an Instagram photo with all of us. Do we tag Shred okay. Test? And, uh, wait, tag, hashtag, and that's it. Yeah. So since you're the guest, you can grab something weird that's in the room with you or make a funny face, whatever you want to do. Grab an ex- grab a S- Excel or something. Yeah. I'll grab an Excel. Hey, look, guys, yeah, get something cool. Have S's. Everyone get your cameras ready. By the way, my most you recent picture was a, uh-oh, not, not the Excels. <laughs> oh, right there. No, right, so you like, we can't see your face, man. Oh, damn. Control. All right, there it is. All right, people. Five, four, three, two. I got it. I got it. People all in the right. chat, did you guys? I hate it? those. I hate those like bars. You know, like the screen, like the the shapes. It oh makes. yeah, sometimes I blur the middle and it and it fixes a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh really? I'll try that. The little blur thing. I don't know what it is. Oh, I know. 
Uh, it does fix that. I had well, some then. other questions. Oh, by the way, guys, can I talk about what I want to do instead of answer questions? I want to ride for DC. Okay, because they're the only company that makes fat, white shoes. Fat, bulky, white Dude. shoes. Big balloons on your feet like marshmallows. And I need you. Why don't you just go buy some D3s? DCs. <laughs> D3s, no. No, D3s. No, D3s. D3s. Too it's deep. like three shoes in one, and it'll <laughs> last you that long. Well, you know what you should do? You should get some really thin shoes. Like, uh, I don't know, say some thin American, here's a, right? And then here's get a good... three sizes bigger and do a shoe inside of the shoe and create true shoe 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 section speak right. english get out <laughs> yeah, it would be like uh, so much Think impact double <laughs> cupsole anyways after i'm finished ignoring both andy and josh what i need you people to do the viewers i need you to tweet i need you to instagram i need you to facebook at dc shoes at rob Deerdick, and at k block 43. It's Ken Is Block. Is it actually written on that notepad? Yes. Like, do you have those? Yes. <laughs> Ken Block has nothing to do with it, I don't think. He's a race car he driver. He sold it. But He sold it. What? He doesn't own it anymore, does he? Send it to Ken Block just for fun. Send so it to Ken Block because he knows people that he used to be a part of it. Yeah. I used to work at DC. Ken is really cool, actually. See? Yeah. If you got any sales reps, I got a I got sponsor <laughs> tape. Man, I'm I, uh, I'll send it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text you about it. Do you hey, uh, or Rob. or or make S come out with a fat fucking shoe that's just larger than life and white? That's hey, that's how S is gonna come back. They're just gonna make the D D three twos. That no one will buy except for Steve. And th yeah, that's the only shoe they'll make, and they'll make millions. Bro, I got money. I'll buy them. Hey, Rob, do you know uh, uh the Habitat guys, the Joe Castrucci? Um, I don't know Joe so much, but I've oh, you know, I grew up with Tim, and I'm good friends with Danny and Austin. Oh, okay, rock on. Because uh, that's ran out of Cincinnati. Like, where I'm from, Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm in Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And they're like just ran down the street for me, really. Cool. My uh, my buddy. I mean, my buddy knows me. So I don't actually know them. Like, I know that they're good guys because they my friends know them. But I just just wondering. Cool. Yeah, exciting story, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, cool. You know someone. Um, I'm gonna Instagram this later. I feel like a, a ring ding when I'm yeah, sitting there just looking the at my phone. You're the first one to like tweet anything, and it just blows up my phone. But do. Uh, let's do our <laughs> questions, guys. Uh, let's get questions for the regular Shredcast cast first. Uh, who's going first? Josh can go first because he was the person that blocked our guest. The first person <laughs> to block him. I got it right out of the way. All right. Um, who? Uh, oh, dude, I can't find any good questions. Why like, is Josh so censored? Oh, it uh, censors your curse words on Ustream. Probably said, probably meant to say gay or something or bitch. Josh looks like he's going for like Malta hair. Are you doing that, like Malta hair? Oh no, no, maybe. <laughs> he is. Oh, Malta's pretty cool. You want a nolly flips? You're getting a Malta haircut right now. It's like... <laughs> When's the last haircut you got? Josh? Oh, dude, you know what? That's what I, I wanted. To, someone just suggested thoughts on Jason Dill and AVE leaving workshop, and I wanted to talk about that today. But we're at the end of the episode. <laughs> I think the question was, uh, that's Josh, awesome. Why are you still pregnant? I think. Did, did they censor pregnant? Because I think that's what it was. Um, Somebody's I'm screen actually, name is I Love Meth. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even that pregnant, actually. I'm actually pretty, like, not anti negative pregnant. Um, next question. Uh... People actually typed in pregnant into the chat. <laughs> You guys like Janowski's? No, dude. No, I would. I would. I would never skate Nikes. Wait, I thought that was like a really, really like well-rated shoe. It's supposed to be. Like, it's one of the most popular shoes right now, isn't it? Or the most popular shoe? Yeah, there was some big, big trend about everyone hated S because they sold it or something. Sold a shoe or something. I said, hey, here's a good question, Rob. Yes. Could you, if somebody would like held a gun to your head, like get me? Oh, I'll do it. Temp no, Steve. <laughs> if so, if someone was like, "Get me Templeton, classic Templetons, right now," could you run in? I mean, would you got Does America have those still at all, or is um, it just in the showroom? You know, we were moving buildings like two years ago, and a lot of stuff sort of unearthed itself, like yeah. really old stuff. Like I found a bunch of old original Costins and uh, damn uh, the ones. I yeah, the like OG ones, like the olives. That's, that's the, the best show ever. One. Yeah, um, I don't know. Probably not. 
I'm sure like Pierre, the owner of the company, has like a pair of every shoe or whatever. Yeah. But there's not stuff just lying around from like back in the day. I've seen some crazy stuff though, like the boots that Tom Penny skated in, like the Timberland boots that Tom Penny skated in. They're sort of like legendary. Those are like here somewhere, and old drawings from Muska about like for his shoes and. Yeah, yeah. Like tons. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Like that. You find old stuff though sometimes, like really old, like Heath Kirchhardt America posters or. Something. Oh. Yeah. Like there's stuff lying around for sure, but the sh the last shoes I saw that were a trip were like maybe a year ago. I saw the Donnie Barley Pro model, the America Donnie Barley. Oh, wow. I remember this. And yeah. some Chris Sens, like Chris Sens and older stuff like that. And Actually, Chris Sen was my first skate shoe, the Chris Sen Americas. Nice. I, um, I just wrote in the chat, Andy keeps moaning. And then the next thing you said was, uh. <laughs> well, I didn't even notice it if I did. I, I think people in chat think I'm gay. No way. You are. That's not the Josh I know. I'm I'm okay with gays, but I'm not like gay. I saw you uh texting your girlfriend when you were in Cincinnati that first time. Yeah. Or I was it? it yeah, maybe Maddie. she's a man. I, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, but you would know. You're the person that would know, actually. <laughs> No. You're actually like the main person right. who would know. Live on the spot right now, I'm going to clarify that my ex-girlfriend was a woman. She was a female. Hmm. She didn't have a penis, I'm pretty sure. Wait I have a question a for you. Not no, no, yeah, sure. I don't think she had one. You weren't sure. Okay. You're, pre you're pretty sure. I'm like <laughs> 70% certain. I would, I would say like 100% sure if sure. you are sure. Like no if about, if about that shit. Well, he I, uh, I don't know. Next question. He did punch her in the, in the <laughs> vagina once, and she she kind of keeled over like it was. An uh, what's up, Ron? I was gonna ask you, what would you rather do if you had a gun to your head? Would you rather jerk a dude off or make out with him? Oh. Make out? <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Probably make out. Hell That's yeah. way into. Me. Yep, make out. You'd make out like scruff, scruff on scruff, like just. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Hey, that would be either, is there, is there, is there either gonna be the scruff on the face or the scruff on the pubes, man? I'm yeah. I'm going with the face. I don't scruff. know how girls get on face. So you guys would all make out. <laughs> Did you just want to thing that I would like do this with guys, like for like future editing? Look, Josh, answer the question. What do you want to do? Um, the first one that he said, uh, no, um, dig in the hand. Tongue in the mouth. Not, not the dick in the hand, I'll tell you that. So you want to make out with a dude? That's, that's what I was hinting Either at. way, it comes back to be like, dude, you're done. Yay. Pull the, pull the trigger. <laughs> 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 Alright, Doug, sorry to do this to you, man, but you, you, you wouldn't make out with a dude or, or jack his dick off. Hold on. I'm taking the bullet. I'm taking the bullet. <laughs> okay, moving on. YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> how many how many of these uh these ultimatums do you have, Rob? Because that's the second one you sprung on us today. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think that's it for now. We should have you as like a weekly segment. Would Rob's you, ult would you rather with Rob? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just think it's funny because a lot of people tell me like, oh, why well, do you always got to bring up gay shit? Or I'd I'd watch the show if you didn't bring up as much gay shit. And I'm like, who cares? What do you want me to do? Ask the dude's sponsors like everyone else does? You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. people in the chat, listen to this, man. That's why we don't want to fucking answer these stupid-ass questions about what board do you ride and what trucks do you have and uh, how do you kick <laughs> What's your favorite trick, right? Your favorite trick. Oh, uh, and this one, we've had this one over <laughs> and over again. This is the whole sentence. Kick flip or heel flip? Question mark. <laughs> what? Uh, maybe these issues are important to people. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well... They, They're more gay than gay questions. I don't mind answering them. It's just when we answer them every single week, yeah, it's man, like, bring up dude. some dick talk or something. Well, Jesus. okay, that's maybe maybe find a medium like some wiener kickflip talk. Yeah, kickflip or dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's. Are, did anyone answer a question? Are we are we doing this or not? Uh, you can skip me on the questions. Either throw them, throw them at Rob or whoever, which, whichever one of you guys wants it. Okay, I'll, I'll answer two questions. Ask me, guys. I feel like the Ustream chat is, is just not as good as the other one. Scootering's for sure the gayest thing ever, right? We can all agree? Yeah. Scooters? Scooters. People that ride scooters. Are people still bummed on scooters? How much time are people going to spend being bummed on scooters? You need to, you, I don't care. You need to check out my Twitter because that's all it is, is just hating on scooters. 
Alright, alright, I got a question for you guys. Are you guys down for Heelys? Because I am. Absolutely. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. What are you, doing? What are you talking about? What? You don't like Heelys? Wow, you don't, you don't struck a nerve. He was quiet the whole episode until you brought up Heelys. What's wrong with <laughs> Heelys? Tell me. Everything? I can't. <laughs> I can't really say on Heelys. That seems just convenient, you know? Yeah, Heelys are rad as heck. Tell me what's bad about them. Fuck that. Skateboarding all day. Speaking of which, when's else. the S Healy coming out? <laughs> Collabo? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that'll be the comeback. Forget the white <laughs> shoes. The S now now carried in Walmart. You know what? Uh, actually, not Heelys included. are pretty thick. I think they're like a thick capsule. Ninja, you should uh, consider them. What? They're like the next D3. Yep. Anyways. You know, I didn't know about the D3s before the show started, but now, like, they get talked about like 10 times in every episode. So oh, like, dude. They were so popular? I think that was before, like, your time, because every black person I knew had D3s. And most white people I knew. And it's funny, people didn't even know who Dave Mayhew was, I feel like, the, the worm. I do believe and he kicked with Wallenberg first. What? Do what? Dave Mayhew was the first person to kick flip Wallenberg. He was? You didn't know that? No. He's not? I didn't know that. First, he's... What? I, what? What'd you say? Bullshit. What'd you guys say? <laughs> I could have swore he about? was, right? Somebody backed me I'll up here in the chat. He had to. No. Been. Who did? Not Frank Gerwer. That never happened. Flipped. Gerwer. God damn it. You know how Gerwer and Mayhew, they you just sound, Gonzalez, sound nothing like. Gravit first? Do what? Nothing like. Danny Gonzalez, didn't he kickflip Gravit? He kickflip Melon did. Yeah, he kickflip yes. Melon and, and the reason? Was that the reason? I don't know. It was also Fantastic. He did it with no ramp, too. He, he bombed the hill and did no, no ramp. Yeah. yeah. Like, a, like, like a boss. Damn, man. I really feel stupid now that I brought I like said it as if it was a fact, but I was completely wrong. Dave Mayhew was like a techie guy. He skated like ledges off stairs a lot. Oh, what I meant to say was he tail slid. Wallenberg. <laughs> he, yeah, he tail slid sideways. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know what's interesting? I ran a shop back in Jersey around the time the D3 exploded, and what? We had the shoe for a while, but then I remember literally within 24 hours, um, Fred Durst wore it on the MTV Awards or something like that. And the next day it was on for like a year straight. We wow. couldn't keep enough D3s in the fucking store. The more you know. And it still happens. When Fred Durst to this day wears shoes, they're gone. For different yeah. reasons. Fred Durst yeah. was actually the first person to kickflip Wallenberg. He still <laughs> he still is into skating. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's they really Oh, back. is he? Yeah, they did a video together or something. Let's get Fred Durst on hey, the show. Hey, uh, you know... Lil Wayne's kind of the new day, like Fred Durst or whatever. Just like everything he wears, I just want to get, you know? Like Truck Fit, I'm on that, you know? And. Your brain, your brain washed it. Circa. I love Circa. Everything about. <laughs> Dude, I like Circa. I, I like Circa, okay? Circa, man. I I'm surprised they're still Circa. around. I worked for Circa when I was a kid. They were really cool. I had the best, uh, probably the best reps I had. They were, really? They were dope. They were dope. Dude, honestly, like, I've never had a pair, but I've only heard bad things from my friends. Really? Maybe I've always had, I've had a lot yeah, of good circus. You a little bitch, then. Yeah, I guess so. I feel like that's been established already, though. So. I had a pair of circus that were bright orange. Honestly, I'm on my last pair of Voxes, and I haven't talked to the company in a while. And I don't know what I'm going to do for my next, because I actually have to buy a pair of shoes now. So. Ooh, that is a damn decision. Give Vox a shout-out, man. Yeah. I'm going to do a whole DC shout-out video without them gonna, even well, hooking me up. I was going to message them and be like, hey, do you guys still want me to rep you guys, but... I kind of like the idea of trying Rob, a new Rob, what's shoot. the best way to go about this? You're, you're in the biz. I can send you each a pair of Americas next week if you'd like. Are they fat and bulky and white? Uh, I don't know what we have that's fat and bulky. Sorry, dude. Well, uh, that's <laughs> right. Pick the fat. The new Reynolds is like, it's not fat and bulky, but it's a good shoe. It's, it's bigger than most of what's in the line. I need the fattest, bulky ones. They need to be white, and I need you to sign them. We don't have white. I think we have the G6 and white leather with gum. That's pretty throwback. Whatever I'll look at the line. Yeah, sure. I absolutely can't I mean, skate. I haven't skated not white. Wow, that's I've been nice riding. of you, man. The guest, this it's now required. Every guest has to give us things. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we, we haven't done, we haven't talked about your YouTube channel, Rob. Before we wrap up, we should probably tell everyone because. Yeah, let's do it. This is where this is going. So, uh, if, if for those of you who don't know, Rob actually has, other than his success in the industry and uh, with Weekend Buzz, and a big he actually kid. has a, U a YouTube channel, which has a crazy amount of views. He's a YouTube mogul. Yeah, he's three point or twenty three point four million views. Holy shit! Yeah, 
Most of, half of those are on an X Games Big Air video. Just one video. Oh really? What's what's the title? I want to look it up. X Six. Games Big Air. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the views. <laughs> well, it didn't come up. See, I I typed that. I have a video of me backflipping off I'll put, a roof into a pool, and I'm going to name you know it Big Air. It happened, it happened right after Jake Brown slammed, oh, but my fuck. footage was from the year before. So I guess people started searching, and I ended up oh, with like okay. 13 million views on that one video. Nice. Damn. The rest of it's just bro cam. Our, our man Basquith, who left earlier, he filmed himself spray a bug, and then a worm crawled out of the bug's body, and he got a fucking ton of views. He, oh, yeah, he it went... He got like 1.5 million views, like within like a few days. Yeah, man. Uh, Did he have revenue sharing? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but he funny. uploaded it to his second channel, his personal channel. Fucked it up, dumbass. No, he's still, I mean, he still got money for it though, you know. Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah but so, it a lot of views faster. <laughs> Rob, what's up with the uh, the framing on this X Games Big Air? Like the. Dude, I'm telling you, like this is like pocket cam, bro. Like I didn't give a shit. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I block him, Josh? I'll block his YouTube channel. out again. <laughs> are, you one of those people, are you one of those people that like can't just watch the video? You gotta criticize the quality of the footage. <laughs> well, no, I, like I understand like the smaller size, but it's not centered. That's what's confusing me. It's fine. I feel like there's like a some anger and hate. I yeah, Josh, Josh is that guy. Deck of the Mega Ram with a pocket fucking Canon Elf camera, probably filming what I could. Yeah, Josh. Sorry, he didn't bring a red camera. <laughs> with a fucking crane, cool, and he didn't have his quad yeah, rotor helicopter film it. Writer. Look, hey, didn't they have T3Is in 2006? I didn't. No. <laughs> they had T's. <laughs> they just had a T. I had a flip. A negative one eye. Nah. Yeah, and at the time, I was more of just there being the journalist, not the documentarian. So, like, I was just filming. It was, like, residual footage. Like, I wasn't really paying attention or trying to be a filmer. You know, it, even though I, I talk trash, like I'll be honest, this video is like entertaining, so I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, now it is after after all that. <laughs> yeah. Which all video? Right. Are you talking about the Big Air one still? Y yeah, I'm starting to think when you blocked him, it was intentional. Yes, it absolutely was. All right. Sorry, sorry for having 13 million views on that video. Face, <laughs> yeah. face, eat it, eat it. <laughs> it's there, Josh. Here you go. Here's the gun, bro. Here's the gun. Kill yourself. That's good. <laughs> is now when I bring out the bongos to end the awkward silence? Because I can do that. No, no bongos. Is, uh, I keep it under my computer now. Uh, well, we're 12 minutes over. Should we even bother with yeah. questions, or do you guys want to? Uh, dude, I can't make any sense of the chat. I'm gonna start asking my questions on my Facebook, and I'll answer them. Okay. Well, again. So let's just wrap it up. Rob, thanks for coming. We'd love to have you on again. This was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I got we got cut off, so I'm sure we lost some. Really important question. Oh man, yeah. when you go back and watch it, if that Thanks, ever happens, Josh. you're gonna see we gave we gave it to Josh, and I think you just <laughs> you gave your own piece to him right now when you made. You know what? Out. All of you are getting shoes except Josh. Oh, oh shoe dance! Ooh, 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 ooh. Who gets shoes? <laughs> Who gets shoes? Not you! Flames. Not you! Who's getting shoes? Who's getting shoes? Not you! <laughs> not you! Sorry, Josh. All right, I guess I have this coming. So. All right. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll send you a pair. I'm not. I'm not bitter. <laughs> Heterosexual love, Rob. Thank you. He's gonna kiss you though. I know that. I'll take it. <laughs> Look at his smile on Josh's face right now. You want to taste Richie Jackson, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you want to kiss me and taste Richie? Ugh. <laughs> he, just, he just moaned. He just oh, came I'll tell a little. you guys, all the guys in skateboarding that want to kiss, like, not Richie Jackson. Wait, how many guys do you want to kiss for you to start the <laughs> sentence with, <laughs> of all the guys <laughs> I want to kiss? How many guys <laughs> in skateboarding do you want to kiss? Other guys, I'll tell you that. Do you realize I've, I've been trying to get to the bottom of this the whole episode? Like, I, I've, I've seen it from the beginning. We just need to get him to admit something. <laughs> it started with Who's the Sean Malto haircut. It ended. Who's the hottest skater? Who's the hottest boy skater? Hmm. Josh. That, that's a tough one, dude. There's some, some still competition. <laughs> some studs out there. <laughs> Beeble. Brandon Beeble. Beeble. Hit Beeble. You can't do it. Sorry. Josh, Josh It'd be funny if you said, like, Brian Anderson. Oh, what if I just, like, oh. answered it with, like, no hesitation whatsoever? Like, I'd, like, written this down, like. Me Williams. 
<laughs> Neen Williams. I just watched this video Josh part today. To tug on his dreads. <laughs> Which is a metaphor for something else. Which is a metaphor for his cock. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, let's let's wrap up before Josh just runs away. All right, guys. I am Black Ninja from the YouTube channel Ninja Lifestyle. I'm sure a lot of you know that, but you can find me on Instagram at Black Ninja LV. People, it's all you. Uh, Andy Schrock, youtubecom slash Andy Schrock. Andy Schrock on Instagram. I'm re feel so repetitive. Keep talking, guys. Who's next? I'm Josh from the YouTube channel Edmondm, or however you want to pronounce it. Instagram um, Josh yeah. Gats. What was that? And I'm gay. Oh. You're coming out of the closet, right? Wait, was that something that you were saying personally? No, it's like, I'm, jo I'm Josh Katz, like, oh. and I'm gay. <laughs> we're all supposed to go, hi, Josh. <laughs> is it like a gay anonymous meeting? Like, uh, is that a thing? You want to know a funny story real quick? A friend of mine had to go to AA. He got a DUI. He was like 18 years old, so him and his friend decided to go together. They had no idea what they were doing, and they realized like halfway through the meeting, they went to an all gay AA meeting. <laughs> they have that exists halfway. They yeah, they're them. they're both they were both like motocross bros too from like the nine oh nine, just like totally <laughs> a bunch of dudes ended up in a gay AA meeting when they were like. Oh, yeah. did they get hit on? Um, I don't know. I'll have to find out. I'll get back. <laughs> I mean, all right, go out for drinking, fair enough. Maybe. All right, Doug, who are you? Well, I'm Doug. I'm from the YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Amphicator. And uh, I want to thank Rob for stopping by. Hell yeah, yeah man. Like I said, yeah, you're yeah. a great guest. It was awesome to have you on let's, as often as possible. Let's let Rob do any shout-outs or any, anything he wants to say. Rob, plug absolutely everything you got, man. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'm not really a plugger. <laughs> that sounded fucked up. <laughs> it was appropriate, um, could, could, you know, considering the context of the show. Oh, no, just thanks for, to everybody who watches Weekend Buzz and everybody who I pre interviewed you every week who gives me tons of material on all the riders and thanks to you guys for asking me to come on the show appreciate oh, yeah, it yeah no it was, it was a pleasure bud. thanks for having weekend on buzz on ride channel new episode tomorrow it's gonna be sick oklahomies send me an email i'll get you guys shoes yeah i'll hit you up bud awesome, sure. awesome. all right let's play this uh outro thank you and uh get busy Look.